to start us off, give us some context. What do we mean by sales lagging here? Yeah, so you know, I think um, we've all been, if you're in the B2B tech industry, we've been selling, if not preaching, digital transformation since we first saw Netflix and Uber change the way we travel or consume content. Um, and I think maybe even with a little bit of a smug attitude that we were in an inside joke as we were transforming all of these economies and, you know, whether it was the um, building out of the cloud or subscription revenues and, you know, felt really empowered that we were changing the economy and changing the world. And um, as part of my journey, I'm currently responsible for our sales services and marketing functions um, at PeopleAI, but I also still maintain responsibility for our operating functions as well. Um, my background, starting in the field, um, serving customers, and then more recently working in operations, really brought home to me that as we started to see what is now being called RevOps or the operating functions, as each of the go-to-market functions rely so heavily on to do their job, that the marketing ops, sales ops, services ops, channel operations were really on the the front edge of this transformation. And as I dug into as an operator, how do all these parts work together? My big aha moment was ironically enough, not in terms of trying to drive go-to-market strategies for the companies I was working for, but it was as starting to become a buyer. I started to purchase technology and experience the buyer and customer journey that it's so easy in a meeting planning how many BDRs you need or what your sales methodology is going to be or whether you're going to start engaging with a customer on a renewal 90, 180 days or when you cut the PO that we may have lost sight at our North Star for this transformation is not within our marketing sales or services side. The North Star is actually the buyer and customer journey. And it became increasingly more difficult for me to have a conversation about the buyer and customer journey with any one department without identifying everything from business process dependencies to leading, leading and lagging indicators. And it brought me to this awareness that's now turned into a belief that go to market, and when I say go to market, I mean marketing, sales, and services is not digitally transforming. It's in some instances transformed. And um, I'll make a joke if I was giving out Olympics at the digital uh, medals at the digital transformation Olympics, I think marketing um, would be up, you know, getting a gold medal um, with the emergence of SaaS. And if you think about marketing 10 or 15 years ago, is how big do you want your booth? Do you like the brand? Um, what event or sporting event or dinner do we plan? Now we know marketing is a data-driven, automation-heavy practice that, that knows as much about our personas that we're targeting and buying centers as anyone in the organization. Maybe competing for that gold medal on the platform right, right beside them and with silver, arguably maybe gold in some organizations, is your customer success department. And I think of hallmarks of digital transformation or modernization being the, the naming of new functions, the creation of new responsibilities, um, the demand gen team in marketing or on post sales, what used to be called professional services with people doing time and materials, fixed price. We'd invite people to come to our headquarters to take four day classes with hands on labs, or we'd bring the training to you. But now if you look at post sales, it's no longer called professional services. They've rebranded, renamed their, their responsibility to customer success. Education. Maybe there's people still doing four or five day on-site hands-on classes, but the expectation now is that the education is in snackable bite-sized moments, ideally embedded in the product right when and where you need it. And most people expect that to be embedded in the subscription of whatever it is they're purchasing. So we can see that marketing has transformed in this very data-driven, digital-heavy um, organization with this intrinsic you know, connection with its operating team. Post-sales has been studying the customer journey and moments for upsell and cross-sell. And that brings us to, and I, you know, prior to the last years, I think it was even more pronounced, but this, you know, laggard, um, which I'm not even sure we're on the metal podium yet in the sales function. And if we were, I think it would be some of our younger athletes um, in this digital transformation Olympics in that sales has been digitally transforming from the bottom up or inside out. And what I mean by that is, BDRs and SDRs or inside sales reps are growing up in these digital cockpits with tools that as an ex-enterprise seller from over a decade ago, I couldn't even imagine having this type of telemetry insight. But a lot of the leaders today have grown up um, in not in this digital world, properly prioritizing relationship building, great discovery, curiosity, and relationship building with your customers. 
Um, and I think as we unpack the rest of this conversation, I'd be remiss if people think that technology um, is going to supplant or replace people, I, I think we're thinking about it the wrong way. We've seen trend after trend, uh, personally and professionally, where we suspect technology is somehow going to replace people, when in fact, it really augments us and unleashes our potential. But we've got this really interesting friction today that was just enhanced by the macro events of the last two years, where suddenly the line that enterprise meant you were in the field and you built relationships and you were physically close to your customer and inside sellers were remote and somehow sold lower dollar values on simpler use cases that's all being challenged mm -hmm. and you know we absorbed so much of this go-to-market tech um, as an industry and now as leaders particularly those of us that may not have grown up with personal or professional comfort with these data-driven cockpits or these suggested next steps it's time for us to get more curious because I do think in the future, the organizations where the CMO and the CRO and the CCO work together and understand that this technology journey or this modernization should not happen at different paces across the different orgs, that it actually has to happen together. That mm -hmm. some of our best pipeline is actually gonna come from our customer success teams, cross selling and you know, upselling into the install base. So sure. you know, that's where I think we're at today is it's happening, it's here. Um, it's unnerving in some areas, it's exciting in others, uh, but I don't think there's any hiding from it. And I think the, the time is now for enterprise sellers to really ask what this means for the, the profession formerly known as enterprise sales.